Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest and newest podcast series that I'm creating here for my YouTube channel. I thought about this the other day just on a whim, just decided that this would be a great new series to debut here for you fans out there. It has to do with the notion of just picking like a news of the day type topic. Um, this is because all the time I'm reading news on a daily basis, every single day I'm reading through a bunch of sources, Yahoo, Money, CNN, USA today uh, stuff involving CNN uh, even stuff related to YouTube for example lots of news related there and then there's always a bunch of news trends that are also focusing on Facebook like on the Facebook uh, popularity or whatever they call it there that shows the trending topics so I thought I would create something here where I would just share for maybe five minutes or so my thoughts on one particular story every single day or at least try to do it every single day that way I can share it if I find it to be very fascinating and it's and I thought it was something that that you all would love hearing about I'll share it with you here and then give my own opinions on it this will be completely off the mark just unplanned type stuff I mean we're talking about things that are just hundred percent random I could be talking one day about movies I could be talking about books I could be talking about stuff involving the business world I could be talking talking about stuff involving crazy hijinks that one hears happening across the entire world just whatever I feel might be something interesting to share then I'll focus on that here one thing I won't do though is nothing too heavy like I won't talk about politics I won't talk about religion I won't focus on the kind of stuff that usually just draws out negativity no this will be just fun almost lighthearted news the kind of stuff that uh, I think would be a good share with everyone out there so to begin this topic today the the brand new trailer for example for it the movie it finally debuted it and so I thought this would be a great way to just uh, give my thoughts on this new news trend because it is trending I mean it's everywhere once something like this big is debuted in the world it is trending between all the major channels out there so I thought it would give my opinion on this and then that way you'll see a good example of what this podcast is and then tomorrow could be a whole new different topic who knows could be something related to um, um, let's say another release of a movie or it could be something weird happening in Australia or it could be some other just strange topic whatever is the case whatever I happen to to come across that I feel is newsworthy enough then I'll share it with you here so let's talk about first this new trailer for it um, I've never read the book actually but I know of the book so when it comes to this movie I actually am kind of interested in seeing it I've never seen the older version I guess the one that was in uh, uh, the, the Tim Curry version, the very famous one there. I can't remember. Was that on TV or was that in theaters? Um, either way, though, that's considered, I guess, the hallmark. And then there was a more recent version somewhere a couple of years back that I guess wasn't very popular. But it, absolutely, I know the story of it. I know the idea that it's a killer clown, something in terms of a, a dimensional character that happens to be haunting this location wherever it's found, and it does so every set of cyclical years. It abducts or tries to kill, in this case, the children, and then the children band together after they grow up and then try to destroy it. So what's interesting about this new trailer is that the expectations for it were pretty high. I mean, we're talking about a much beloved novel. It's a huge novel too. Um, apparently it's over a thousand pages. Unbelievable. The idea that there's a book this thick out there. If you ever wonder too why Stephen King uh, makes these novels so big, he has his own mantra. He stated in one time in an interview, like, how do you get these things so big? Like, what do you do? And he goes, basically it's this. I just simply just write six pages every day. That's his goal. Every day. That's like his eight hour shift. Uh, uh, if he can finish six pages, then he's done for the day. And if he can't, then he strives to make sure that it's done. That way when he feels it's enough of a book, then uh, then, then he's truly finished. But that's how he gets to so many pages within his book. But either way, though, this was a very, very sought-after film by fans. There's been a 
huge number of teases these past couple of months, all the things being shrouded in mystery, lots of them being revealed uh, through uh, Entertainment Weekly. I remember they were showcasing snippets and little teases of Pennywise, the infamous clown, and then finally he makes his debut within the trailer. I'm going to include a link for it below too if you haven't had a chance to check it out, take a look. I saw the trailer and I must say I'm impressed. I do like it. I do like the idea that this was a true teaser. I mean teasers today reveal a lot of things. I mean uh, you just have to look at the uh, latest Spider-Man trailer that was just released and you pretty much have the whole story there but in this case it's a lot of build up. It's that slow burn that seems to be uh, that's one of my favorite things when it comes to building a really really good uh, payoff because in this case it shows things looking mysterious the town obviously is in some kind of crisis there's uh the the shots of in this case that little boat somehow being pulled into the sewers in this case of course the water but something was probably pulling it otherwise and then um, you'll see all this dread within the trailer you'll see people examining the situation and then it ends in this case with those boys I think they have a name some group I, somebody needs to point that out please on the bottom but they're focusing on a slideshow and on that slideshow with the projector that's when the thing takes on a life of its own that really got to me that is pretty creepy whenever you see something like that happen because obviously a slideshow it's the physical kind it's not like the kind where um, it, like you're pushing a PowerPoint moving forward or doing a clicker no in this case it's them f like physically whatever this thing is Pennywise it takes over this physical slideshow and then it starts creating its own images creepy creepy stuff that 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 was pretty good I was fascinated to find out that the director of this is actually the guy from mama which if you've seen that movie that's a pretty good movie too I mean it has some really good uh, plausible jump scares not the corny stuff where it's someone just peeking around the corner and then there's the large music and the large sudden appearance no in this case it's 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 the good stuff so I'm glad that he's on this film too and if you're wondering in the trailer do we ever get to see Pennywise that's what makes this trailer so awesome yes you do see him but it's only towards the very final scene and then it's only like even then just a split second so that is a great teaser it's one of those things where you truly know who the major player is in the film whenever the entire thing is talking about him or her but in this case there's nothing shown of them so that's what makes it so impactful whenever they do show Pennywise at the very end that was really cool too because there he is appearing in all of his glory just for a split second during that slideshow revealing his face in a very creepy manner in this case it looked like he was morphing from a woman's face or something along those lines in into the Pennywise that we know of uh, with regards to it. So, a very fascinating stuff. I'm looking forward to it too. Um, even Stephen King himself has reassured fans apparently he has seen parts of this movie or the entire movie uh, outright. And he stated in one of his uh, tweets that this movie succeeds everything beyond his expectations. He's told everyone to relax, wait, and then enjoy the film later on. So, that is pretty cool. Looking forward to it. But, yes, in essence, that is how my podcast will be the news of the day something that's trending i'll give my own opinion on it and then whether it's good or bad and then finally um, i would love to hear what your comments are with regards to that topic so uh please post those comments below let me know what do you guys think of this new series i'll try to do it on a daily basis too uh that's the ease of the series it allows me to be able to do it then the idea is within anywhere that I'm at, I could be traveling, I could be at a hotel, I could be in the conference, who knows. I could just do this on my own using my own uh, devices, very easy to do, and then that way I can share it with you here. So, uh, But yes, I'm most interested in hearing what your topics are for this. So, Alright everybody, thanks again as always. Take care.